Hello, my name is Kelly Corwin, and it is my esteemed honor to be able to call myself the son of Rick Fute. And while we may not have been by blood, he was the only real father I have ever known. When I was very young, I had done or said something I may have been too young or insensitive to realize the gravity of. And after my mother had sat down and talked with me, she asked me to go to him in sincerity. And I remember approaching him, tapping on his shoulder. And when he turned to face me, I asked, may I call you dad? And he held on to me so tightly. My family knows me well enough that the way in which I am able to express myself and my feelings is by creating something, a trait my father found very endearing. In accordance with his wishes, there will be no public viewing or ceremony. My sisters and I have explicit instructions on where he wants his remains placed, but until the time comes where we're able to do so, I instead offer this as a memoriam. My father believed in transparency. He understood that to appreciate the good, you had to also be willing to acknowledge and face the bad and unpleasant. Some of the material in this is difficult to watch, especially for me as the one making it. But just like the ocean waves, you cannot have a crest without the trough. As a personal request, with Christmas a short time away, I ask that for any that have the means to do so, please make a donation in his name to NeuroWorks Outpatient Paralysis Care, which I will link in the description with instructions. The care and attention they gave my father to give him some kind of quality of life is the only reason he was able to make the absolute most of his remaining years. I bore first-hand witness to the strength it had given him, even in his waning hours. At one point, he only had four heartbeats in a minute, only to come surging back again and again. He would not give up, even when his body had nothing left. This is my gift, to share glimpses of his life with you with emphasis on the last five years. I have never personally endured anything as hard as having to make this, because the memory of every moment just comes flooding back. But I am also grateful because it allowed me to take pause and revel in a life that, while too short, was truly lived. The boy's first hero is his dad. And if there were times 
he wasn't holding my hand. It was because he had my back. And I promise to raise my sons knowing that I get to raise them in your image. And they will know who their grandfather was.
appreciate your concern for my daughter. And like I said, she's not my stepdaughter. There's no step anything. I love my kids. I got very fortunate. Your kids love you. Pardon me? Your kids love you. Well, I'm an ugly old guy, so. <laughs> reason to be concerned. Now they'll, uh, <laughs> did you wake my mom up? Nope. Good. All right. Let's see this party started. Come on, guys. Isn't that a good thing that your dad loved you that much? It is. He's my son. He's not my stepfather. Nope. All right. Well, that was exciting. I won't go to sleep now until Christmas. <laughs> I think we all need to go to sleep until Christmas. <laughs> I agree. Christmas well, what? Christmas and just woke up. Well, I had to bring yeah. back the life the guy, the guy that was uh, oh, actually saying it. The Glendon Bar and Kitchen, Dad. Yeah, in Westwood, California. And then you got your entire bill comped by the military paramedic who was the bartender. Remember? Yeah, I had to push him out of the way because he didn't understand. No, you had to push the real paramedic out of the way. Yeah. But yes, you did revive a guy better than the paramedic after you moved him. Which well, they're I think about to flop him over. My about to flop him <laughs> over on the side and asphyxiate him. <laughs> you were not a, he was asphyxiating. You were stopping that. There's an idea. You did stop. I wonder if that guy's still alive. He was really old. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. I mean, he was alive after he left, but I just mean now. How do you feel? Feel mm -hmm. good? Oh wait, now. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate the fact. Well, I hope you guys know I love my son. We do. Mm -hmm. Well, clearly I do. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. What's next? <laughs>